Pravin from Siena Plantation has a question about a busted water softener. Yeah, his busted during a recent storm, and it looks to me, Tom, like this thing withstood a long, drawn-out fight. <laughs> I mean, yeah, this, and I don't think that, it's repairable. No, I don't think so, and that's that's his question. He says, I feel I can replace the water softener myself. I just need to buy a unit with separate salt tank. The prices range, he says, between $650 and $1,800. I need one with a 68,000-gallon capacity and no bells and whistles, just a basic unit and tank for the installation outside. <clears throat> What's your recommendation, Tom? When you go buy a unit like that, usually the installation is not a big cost it's just buying the units that's where they make their money whether they sell it to you and you put it in the back of your truck or they come out and they they pop it in for you so i don't know how much money you'd be saving i'd probably have the thing installed myself but if you wanted to go buy a new water softener you got to just uh cut and, and paste all that plumbing back up to the new one and you can certainly do it but i think if it was me I'd probably just have someone come out and replace it. But if you want to go find one, be careful what you buy. Make sure it's a good quality one because they should last you about 20 years or so. Uh, as far as where it is and the salt tank and everything you have there, that's all fine. You can replace it with a new unit. Uh, if you want to call someone to replace it or even just go buy the unit, maybe they'll sell it to you, is uh, Aquatex is one of the people that we uh, talk about so much here in the Houston area. And they have a unit that would fit right in there. It's very close to that. But as far as that goes, that's totally up to you. If you want to try it, I'm not going to say no. A plumber can do it. You can mm -hmm. do it. But I think better yet, it's really not a big expense for the install. Usually it's buying the equipment. Right. And I'll tell you, we have one of those Aquatex ones, one of those Kinetico oh, uh, ones, too. the two-tank one like that. And it is, I never realized until the freeze when we went out and covered it and did all the things that that John Ludwig over there at Aquatex told us to do to protect it. Um, by the way, he told me today, he called me today, he said, I need to tell you, Charlie, when I was on the radio, because you remember you were off that weekend, we had people on, he was one yes, of the we had. Yeah. Well, he yes. said, he said that he somebody walked into the store down there in Alvin, where they're located, and said, I came here to thank you. I listened to you on the radio, and I did what you said, and my system made it through, and my neighbors didn't. Yeah. So he was all he was all nice. excited. So, but th but that's well, because good. it's a quality piece of equipment, like you say, and that's what you're going to get from yeah. um, Aquatex. All right, you got a question? We'll Absolutely. help you just like that. Go click on that blue Ask Tom button. We'll fill out the form right here. You can either send us a picture, a video, whatever makes your heart happy, and we will thrill you with an answer for free from Tom, the the dean of the College of Home Improvement Knowledge. And we post one, a new one every day because he's generous enough to do that. And he gives us one for every day of the week. And we post them at homeshowradio.com, our Facebook page, and our YouTube channel. 